Welcome back to Seeds of Hope. My name is Andy here at New Hope, and I'm glad you're with us today. I, I start by saying how uh, encouraging I am that in this season we're in, so many people have been finding ways to, you know, encourage others and um, spend time and uh, with other folks and with neighbors and family members, whether just on the phone or video or outdoors. Um, and, and that's been really cool to see that. And I've had the opportunity to, you know, chat with different folks in the church and the community. And one of the things that I, I feel like I'm noticing as I do that is how much there is this underlying thread of stress that, that I think everybody is experiencing. Because, you know, we've We've been in this season, and, and probably for most people, it, it's not been a um, extreme life-altering experience. It certainly has for some, and, and our heart breaks for those uh, who have had that experience. But there is this, for many people, this stress that they have this uh, nagging sense of, you know, I can't make this go away, and I, and I can't really do the things that I used to do the way that I did them when I wanted to do them. And, and I find that whenever life is in that boat, whatever the cause may be, that it, it's a little stressful because there's a sense that we want to be able to have that, uh, that control over our lives. And in some sense, I think we were created for that, that we would uh, cultivate and work and build and engage uh, in relationships with folks in ways that would be healthy and, and growing and productive. And, you know, when we can't do that the way we're used to, uh, we get a little, maybe a little stressed. And, and I, I feel like it's sort of wearing some folks down. And so I wanted to share a word of encouragement, a seed of hope in light of that today. And I got to thinking about the, the wisdom books in Scripture you know, the genre of wisdom books that we have, they, uh, they were written for a time really such as this. Because what they do is that they, they point to an understanding that, you know what, life sometimes is chaotic and crazy and it doesn't go the way that we, we want it to and, and we can't control it. And yet we find ourselves still having to be right there in the middle of it. And so how do we respond to that? And so the wisdom books say, Look to God. In times of chaos and being out of control and lack of order, look to the God of creation who is a good God, who is full of peace and who is a God of order, not a God of chaos. And one of the ways that the genre does that is pointing us to creation. You know, as I sit here and record this today, I can look out the window and I can see the leaves on the trees and uh, they're coming out in bloom and the flowers that are that are blooming and, you know, all the pollen that's in the air, which has been driving me nuts uh, if you have allergies like I do. And, and so nonetheless, we can look at all of that and we can see that, you know what, really what God has created, you know, the coronavirus or not, it continues to work in perfect order. And man, it's it's dependable. You know that you know spring is coming and summer will be after that. And you know there are certain things that take place in nature as that's happening. And, and the way it just all beautifully works together. And, we, and the wisdom books say, you know what, that has God's handprint all over it. And in fact, that God's the one holding it all together. And He's the reason that it keeps working. And I love that. And, and I think that's a great reminder for us. Because so much of where we're at is really out of our control. And, and it's the seed of hope that it invites us to be encouraged when we look at what God has already perfectly done. And the order that He has put into life. And, and we can have hope for our future because we know that God's order will not be overcome. That what God has set into motion, God sustains he will take care of all that He has given life to. And, and so it, it's such a blessing in a time like this to, I think, to be able to look to the wisdom books and to see that lesson given to us and to find encouragement in that way. And so that's my, that's my word to, to all of us today. It's simply, you know, in this time where 
we may get a little stressed and worn down because we're just going week after week of not being able to do what we want, when we want it, the way we want to do it. And you know, all other things may be okay. We just don't have that control. And, and it's just sort of nagging. Um, look to God. Find hope in knowing that God is a God of good order amidst the chaos. He is a God who has authority over the chaos. And nothing can thwart His kingdom and His authority and His lordship over heaven and earth. And that includes you. If you'll turn to Him in faith and trust in Him, then you can know, you have an assurance that His good orderly plan for your future will be held intact. Chaos will not be any detriment to that at all. Life may not go the way you want it to, and it may be a struggle for a season, but in the end, if you persevere, God's perfect plan says He has eternal peace in store for you with Him. I hope that word encourages you today in the midst of whatever you're going through, coronavirus or anything else, and may the Lord bless you and continue to look to Him and to Him being a great and loving God who can take care of you. Thanks so much for joining in.